How about him, Cowboy? Angry Cowboy, stand on your town the line. What's going on, Cowboy Nation and angry Cowboy fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your man, the Angry Cowboys fan, bringing y'all my raw and uncut on the 4th of July about our Dallas Cowboys. So if you're DC for life and you love the silver and blue, you love wearing that star on your hat. Drop a like on the video, share this content, and please subscribe to the channel. As I was scrolling YouTube for some content, I found a great segment of First Take. The segment had Sam Macho, Herm Edwards, and a guy that I've never seen before in Chris Carlin. They were discussing many topics about the contract situations in Dallas. There were so many good nuggets when it came to the segment, so I decided to make two videos out of one segment of First Take. So in this video, we're going to be discussing Sam Macho and Herm Edwards take on if Jerry Jones should just blow this whole team up. In the question Sam Acho presented to Herm Edwards, he spoke some nice truths about the situation. So we're going to take a listen to the two clips that I got for y'all and then y'all know what we're going to do. We're going to come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, Angry Cowboys fans, let's go ahead and take a listen to Sam Acho. But coach, I will say this. So you you you've coached you you coached for decades, high, uh, high college, NFL, right? You've coached at a high level. If you had a quarterback like Dak Prescott, you would you want to blow it up? Like you're saying, it's like we're saying, let's blow it up and let's start over with a rookie quarterback. So many rookie quarterbacks have been up, unproven. So many rookie quarterbacks from a few years ago are either on the bench or they've been traded or they've been released. You have a proven commodity, a proven player who knows how to win. Some of those playoff losses were not Dak Prescott's fault. Some of those playoff losses were, were, were other people's fault within the organization. And so if you're a coach, you're saying, man, I know I got a guy who can play at the highest level. I, I, I would love to know how willing would you be to blow it all up? This is an absolutely fair question from Sam Macho. A lot of Cowboys fans have asked the exact same question. If you're the coach of the Dallas Cowboys, you've seen the talent that your QB1 possesses and the chemistry that he has with his offense. How quick would you be to want to blow it all up and start with a new quarterback? I want you to sit and think about it as if it's your job on the line, like you have everything to lose. I'm going to talk about that more in my raw and uncut portion, so make sure you stick around for that. But in the last clip that I got for you, Herm Edwards gives Sam Macho his answer to the question of blowing it up from a coach's perspective. So let's take a listen to what Coach Herm Edwards had to say, and then you know what we're going to do. Come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So, Cowboys Nation, take a listen. No, I, I would not. But here's the problem. All those stars that they have right now, they're all on their last year deal. So is the head coach. Jerry Jones is going to let this thing play out. He's not playing to the, he's not going to keep the band together anymore. This is it. He's going to watch this thing and go, you know what? These guys couldn't get it done. Starts with my head coach, whether Mike McCartney is to blame or not, and he is not because he's a fine football coach. Is Dak Prescott the blame of this? No, he's not. He's a very good quarterback. We get that. Uh, they've got great players. But Jerry's been watching this. And Jerry's getting older, and he said, you know what? I see the same song over and over. After a while, you just say, I'm going to be a young quarterback, bring some excitement back to the Cowboys organization. This is team, he knows how to sell the Dallas Cowboys. We talk about the Dallas Cowboys every, every day on television. You keep seeing the same results, Jerry? What's the common denominator? But Herm Edwards was quick. He was quick, fast, and in a hurry to say that he would not get rid of Dak Prescott and blow it all up. He talked about Jerry Jones wanting to let it all play out. But the most important thing is... Jerry Jones is currently 81 years old. I understand some rich people may think that they're invincible, but that is far from the case. Jerry could blow it all up and see this team struggle to get better during the remaining time that he has on this earth. Is it truly worth the gamble, Jerry? But y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Y'all ready? Let's get it. 
All right, Cowboys Nation. It's easy to make the decision when you have absolutely nothing riding on the outcome. It's easy to sit in front of our TV screens, our computer screens, and our phones saying that Jerry Jones should just blow it all up and we should start from scratch. But actually put yourselves in the shoes of a coach who is working on the last year of his contract. If we do something great this season, I'm going to be extended to a team who is on the brink of imploding. Let's take Mike McCarthy out of the equation right now. What new coach is going to come in here and want to help this team build itself back to a contender when it was already a contender to begin with? There'll be some who will do it, but I don't think that you'll be landing the more well-known coaches, the more successful coaches that actually want to do it. You'll have to be desperate. You'll be getting a desperate coach who's sitting there at home with Cheeto dust on his fingers, lying about how he watched film on the Dallas Cowboys. You have more of a chance to land a Bill Belichick type coach if you only are missing a few pieces in order to make a deep run in the playoffs. So if I were a coach about to take this job, I wouldn't want Jerry to blow it all up and make us further from our goal. As far as Jerry wanting to blow it all up, honestly, Jerry doesn't have time to blow it up. Jerry Jones is 81 years old and still has aspirations to win a Super Bowl. If he decides to blow it up, he could spend his last days watching his investment fall out of relevance into obscurity. He could spend his last days watching his team scratch around for a quarterback while wasting the years on the draft picks that they had drafted for this team. To keep it a buck, you get rid of Dak, you might as well get rid of C.D. Lamb. You are not going to pay a wide receiver 36 to $40 million just to be average. You want a quarterback that can get the maximum potential out of your wide receiver, and Dak Prescott has proven that he can do so. And people have this Cooper Rush argument. Yes, Cooper Rush was 5-1 and one against opponents when Dak Prescott went down. But be honest with yourself, Cowboys Nation. Did Cooper Rush ever get CeeDee Lamb over 100 yards receiving in those games? Like people have the argument against Dak, is Cooper Rush raising the level of play around him? Or is he just managing the offense while the defense balls out? If he's just managing the offense, then why is it that Dak has to do so much while it's okay for Cooper Russ to just manage the offense? Why is it a slight at Dak Prescott when the defense kicks it up a notch while he's playing, but it's not mentioned when it happens with Cooper Rush? In that 5-1 and one stretch, Cooper Rush also had six touchdowns and four interceptions. Three interceptions coming from that one loss against the Philadelphia Eagles. In all the games that Cooper Rush started, he had no receivers break the 100-yard mark, but these get-rid-of-Dak fans don't mention this. These blow-it-up Dallas Cowboy fans don't want to talk about the fact that Geno Smith has more snaps in the 2022 season than Trey Lance has had his entire career, high school included. Trey Lance has only thrown 420 competitive passes since high school, while Dak Prescott has more than double that last year alone. But these two quarterbacks are just fine with the starting position, according to you guys. But put yourselves in the shoes of Jerry Jones. You are currently 81 years old. You will be turning 82 during the 2024 season. At 82 years old, are you going to tell your all-pro quarterback to go ahead and test free agency and franchise tag your elite all-pro wide receiver? At 82 years old, are you going to start it all over by allowing the leader of your team, who is statistically getting better, to go to another team while you try to figure out the hole that he just left? No, you're not. Also, one major thing that people are failing to remember Why did Jerry Jones allow Mike McCarthy to coach out his contract? Jerry Jones hates paying players or coaches that are not producing for this team. Yeah, he might have done it with Zeke Elliott by allowing him to go to New England, but guess where Zeke Elliott is today? Back at the star. So he's still getting his money's worth whenever it comes to Zeke Elliott. Jerry is not going to allow Dak Prescott to leave the building and still be a hindrance on this salary cap the way he would be. The Dallas Cowboys are not in a position like the Denver Broncos were. So miss me with that Russell Wilson Denver Broncos comparison. 
that part of Cowboys Nation has to come to the realization that it's financially responsible and it's a better business move for them to extend Dak Prescott as opposed to allow him to walk in free agency. It puts your organization in a better position to succeed. It keeps the camaraderie and the continuity in the locker room. It saves time by not having to develop a replacement while said replacement is your QB1. It keeps you in the playoffs and it keeps you relevant. You may not like the decision, but it is a decision that is for the betterment of this team. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. What did you think about what Sam and Herm had to say? What's your take on blowing up the team? Let's have an adult conversation in the comments section. If you're digging the content and want to help get it out to even more Dallas Cowboys fans, drop a like on the video and share this content with your friends who are Cowboys fans. If you are DC for life and can't wait until training camp starts, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I go live, release a video, or a podcast episode. Happy 4th of July to all you angry Cowboys fans out there. Make sure that if you're drinking, you have a ride and take care of yourself out there. Be responsible with the fireworks and most importantly, be responsible with your firearms. But I do want to take this opportunity to tell my oldest sister Tia that we love her and we miss her dearly. The family suffered a loss back on the 4th of July in 1998 and the holiday hasn't been the same ever since. Your sister and brothers miss you very much, Tia. Your grandmother misses you. Your children miss you. Your nieces and nephews miss you. Continue to watch over us until we meet again. This has been your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan, and I'm out. Dang, angry Cowboys fans, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But remain DC for life.